Well, today is going to be kind of a weird video. Um, I haven't posted in probably a week and a half, getting close to two weeks now. Uh, the whole Friday posting thing has kind of well, it's kind of fell through a little bit. Um, sorry about that, I guess. Uh, I had formal, formal last weekend, which is kind of the big reason why I didn't post. Cause I normally, I normally do like record most of my videos on the weekend. That's how I'm able like try to post every week. Cause I record on the weekend, then I edit and like post them during the week. Um, that's normally when I record my videos. But formal kind of took up most of that weekend. Um, but yeah, so I did some a little bit of ripping. You guys saw in the beginning there. Come on. Oh my thing's not wanting to turn. Um, but I did a little bit of ripping last weekend. You guys saw in the beginning. Um, I'm still rocking that two-wheel drive, so I'm not really able to get out and do too much for you guys. What? It's not shifted all the way up, or what? Well, I don't know guys, maybe I'm not going to be doing anything today because I can't freaking... There we go. Sometimes it's not like shifted all the way up in the park, like completely where it thinks it's in park. I don't know, it's weird, but... Got a little bit of snow here, it's pretty chilly out right now. Not going to go. Grab my mittens. But anyway, what I was saying is, yeah, I haven't posted for a while, got some ripping footage, don't have that front drive shaft let yet, like usual. Um, saving up for it, I'm still saving up for it, um, for sure. Not going to be um, a mall crawler forever. Oh, where's my other mitten? Other mitten. Oh, well, I've got one mitten. You're kidding me. There it is. But yeah, definitely not gonna be a mall crawler forever. That front drive shaft is for sure gonna, um, it's for sure gonna happen before the spring, and hopefully uh, sooner, so I can do some, get some winter four wheeling in. Uh, this weekend, this today, this video is just gonna be kind of a vlog. I'm gonna be showing you guys something cool, as you can see in the title. But today is just kind of be a little bit of a vlog. But this weekend, I'm getting out with the boys for the first time in a while, and we're gonna make a sick ripping video and possibly do some ice fishing. No promises on that. It's half the, seems most of the time when I go out to record an ice fishing video, I don't catch anything. But, uh, here, let me hop in here. Get that, get that buzz and stop. But, we're for sure gonna do some ripping. Bronson's got his Jeep back from the shop. So we're gonna be taking that out. Um, Jeep Wrangler, I'm sure you guys, most of you guys have probably seen it before. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's been really an off-roading video before though. Maybe one. But we're gonna be ripping that. I might, might try bombing some trails with the Ford. Hopefully not get her stuck because I don't know how well four-cylinder Jeep is gonna pull her out. But I guess if I'm just kind of stuck in some snow, I probably could. But we're heading over to. Well, you guys will see. Oh. Oh. So I don't paint my truck. That's why I haven't painted my truck yet. Because I'd be too scared to do stuff like this. But so a long time ago, oh, a long time ago. What am I saying? I'm sorry guys, I'm not the smoothest vlogger as you guys can tell. But a long time ago I made a video teasing, asking you guys to guess what a certain vehicle was that I showed you on a trailer. Most of you guys actually guessed it right. And this was a long time ago. This was like last spring that I made that video. And I was supposed to follow off and make a video on it, but I haven't really, to be honest, I haven't really done anything with it since then, so I haven't really made a video. But now that it's winter, we got some downtime. I'm not really currently building anything on my truck at the moment. I'm gonna be soon, I'm gonna be doing rear bumper and tailgate and all that stuff, and front drive shaft. I'm gonna do stuff in my truck soon, but right now, I'm not, I don't, not really doing anything on it. So, I've got a little side project here. 
something that I want to show you guys. Shut the truck off. That I want to show you guys. Um, that, well, here it is. We've done some work to it. Right here. Iced on here, I can't show you guys. Name. Well, anyway, this is a 1983 or 86 Toyota Tacoma, or it was. Um, it's only got 30,000 miles on it, believe it or not, um, engine and body. So, it's actually a pretty, pretty clean truck, um, not very many miles, uh, but, yeah. So, the deal with this thing is, I'll get, I'm just going to give you guys the full story on this, because you guys are probably like thinking, what the heck is this pile, um, and what the heck did they do to the rear what happened to the rear axle? But um, so basically, what the deal is with this? This is a 1986 Toyota, I think. All right. So backstory. I already said that. Backstory. Um. So my dad owns a welding shop, you know, and a bunch of the guys there, like, I don't know, they mess around and do a lot of stupid stuff at the shop. And they had this big like mud hole behind one of the buildings there, and they started doing like mudding competitions after work and stuff after like before work and stuff like that and during lunch uh they're doing like mudding competitions so uh one of the employees had this toyota and it was actually like a pretty clean toyota i think it might have been a little bit rusty but it was like a pretty clean toyota tacoma and he wanted to sell it and i think he sold it for like i want to say like thousand bucks or something like really cheap to my dad and my dad wanted to like make something that could beat everybody in this mud hole so I ended up chopping this thing completely apart um, a lot of you guys are probably really mad about this but he literally took sawzall and chopped the top of the cab off chopped all the doors off chopped everything off um, and then, <laughs> then he did this he shortened the rear axle because what his okay his theory you think about it kind of makes sense so he was thinking that when the front wheels go they make a rut in the mud you know and then so that that way these rear wheels now don't catch in that rut and then when these tires are throwing mud back they're not throwing mud back into these tires which is just more they're having to kick out and throw so like if you think about it it should it should go through the mud easier right because it's making, it's not having, the back tires aren't having to go through the same rut and throw out the same mud that the front tires are throwing. I don't know, but he did that, but that also kind of made it extremely tippy, like super, super, super tippy. Also, he sauced the gas tank out here in the rear, which is actually pretty sick, but, oh, and there's no rear suspension, which is another downside about this, um, but it made it really tippy. So last year, me, Hunter, and Bronson. Well, I pulled this thing out on my own, out at the shop. It's kind of like in the woods. I pulled it out, and I think me, Travis, maybe Bronson, um, we put some gas in the carburetor and put a hooked battery up to it, and it actually fired. It actually fired up, and then it just would die when the gas ran out of the carburetor. So I think it either needs a fuel pump or we just need to prime it more, try to get it going. So the motor, I'm pretty sure, does run. Um, but at least it ran until the carburetor ran out of gas. So if anything, it just needs like a fuel pump or something. Um, but yeah, it's really tippy. So me, Bronson Hunter had welding in school, advanced welding. So we ended up trailering this thing, bringing it to welding. This was like our welding project. Uh, we finished, we didn't completely finish the roll bar. We got about um, half done as you can see. We didn't really get to finish the back. We wanted to make stuff come down from the back here as well. But it's kind of hard because it's so like shortened. But I don't know, we want to make it 
come down from the back here too because like the front half of the roll bar looks all right for making in like a high school welding shop with not very many tools at our disposal. Hold on. I'm going to check and make sure this, this mic is kind of dying. I'm going to make sure it's been recording everything I'm saying. Okay, microphone came off just because uh, um, it's dying. I, I'll get a battery next time, I promise. Next video, I'll have a battery for it. So the audio should, you should still be able to hear me just as good. It's just you might get some wind noise because I don't have that wind sock. But um, anyway, we didn't have very good tools at a high school welding shop, obviously. Like So like the pipe bender was not very great and it just... We didn't have a notcher or anything like that, so we kind of had to notch everything by hand with the grinder. And But I think it turned out all right um, so far. Making it at a welding shop. Uh, we actually went through, right here we cut a hole in the cab, went through and welded it. I don't know if you can see that, the welder probably kind of crappy down there. But we welded it to the frame uh, on here, right here. Same side over there, we went through the cab, welded the frame, and then we welded it to the frame here welded to the frame there. So it's welded to the frame on four points, which is pretty solid. It's not just like connected to the body. So it should hopefully work. Um, it's just mild steel, the pipe is though, so it's probably not as strong as what you'd normally use to make a roll bar out of. Um, but we, like I said, we still wanna make some stuff going on back here. Maybe some more stuff here. You could even make like a rack, put some stuff on here, like gas cans or whatever. Be pretty sick, like a jack and a shovel going across here, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, and then we need seats because the teacher made us take out the old seats and throw them away because I guess they were like a fire hazard to be welding on it and stuff like that. So we had to take all the seats out and everything. Also, we need a new steering wheel because the steering wheel was all rusted out and breaking into pieces. So we ended up taking that off. So I need to find a steering wheel to put on this. We need seats. Um, and then we need to get it like running, running. Um, the tires actually hold air. Two of them were a couple, were like a little bit flat. Uh, the welding teacher, or not the welding teacher, the auto teacher, um, told us, "Oh yeah, those things are so cracked up and full of holes. So you gotta, there's no way you're gonna have to buy new tires. Blah 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 blah, going on and on about how these tires are pieces of crap, and we're gonna have to buy new ones, and it's not even worth trying to do anything." But we didn't believe them, so I ended up taking the tires off the rim, grinding down the rim, got all the crap off of it. I could tell the air was just coming out of the wheels, and we sauced them back on, and they're still all holding air. Um, they're actually 35s. I think this thing's got a lift kit in it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't, but it sits, it actually sits pretty high. Um, dual shocks in the front, uh, the two make up for the, you know, the one missing in the rear. So that's kind of, kind of what I was thinking. Uh, was spray painted Project Dirty Oat on the front here. We even made an Instagram page for it, but never posted anything on it. Uh, it's got some, got some nice stance in the front. Uh, the rear, rear could use a few wheel spacers, I guess, but um, yeah. So this is the rig. We're thinking of making this kind of into a, uh, well, first thought would be is a cool, it would be a cool rock, a rock crawler, but the frame's kind of chopped off and I don't think we could swap a normal axle back on here again, or we probably, okay, we could, but it'd be, it'd be too much work for what this thing is, kind of. So we're probably just gonna leave the back axle how it is and just kind of make this be a mudder trail crawler thing to play with. But I mean, it looks it looks pretty sick, especially once I get the roll bar, roll cage finished. There's some stuff coming down the back, like I said. But it looks it looks pretty dope. And I was also thinking we could sauce in like uh, some LED pods in here where the headlights are supposed to be. Uh, we could even sauce a roll bar or some or not a roll bar. We could even sauce some. Uh, some KC lights or a light bar or something there on the top so we can get lighting so we can wheel this thing uh, in the dark as well or if you're out in the trail get stuck we need some light that'd be pretty sick since it doesn't have any headlights in it obviously but uh yeah so the plan is to oh yeah four-wheel drive works on it and everything too so it is it is four-wheel drive it's got got manual manual uh, hub lockers uh, I think oh also I think the rear my dad welded he welded the rear diff too so it's got posi in the rear which is pretty cool but so basically what needs to be done to this is seats steering wheel get it running that's kind of like the three major things uh, to do with this for now um, that's kind of like 
kind of the basis of what I want to do with this. And I'm thinking about possibly this weekend or maybe after school one of these days, if I'm not working, uh, drag this thing over from here, probably with the truck, over to the garage and push it in. And then the boys can get working on this. Um, hopefully get it running. Oh, also I'm gonna make a front bumper on it eventually too, something nasty to protect the radiator and everything because it doesn't really have anything on there right now. I wanna keep the wheel clearance, I wanna keep the clearance, so I don't really wanna build anything down lower than what this already is, but just something, almost like more of a brush guard to protect the radiator and everything because it's pretty, pretty exposed right now. Um, yeah, I think I kind of went over everything. If you have any questions about it, let me know. And if you guys have, I'm open to a million ideas. So if you guys have ideas for this thing, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm, I'm not wanting, I guess I don't know if I did say this, I'm not wanting to spend a bunch of money on this at all. Like, so if their ideas make them be cheap ideas, this is kind of, at least at the moment right now, I'm not, I don't really want to spend any money on it. Maybe like a fuel pump here, I'll pop the hood for you guys. If it's not iced. Hey guys. Oh, doesn't have a stick. But here's the motor. It's actually, it's actually pretty dang clean. And it's just, it's just a four cylinder. I don't think I mentioned that. It's just a four cylinder, but this thing, this thing is pretty freaking light. So um, I don't think it'll be a problem. I guess the roll bar probably added some weight, but it's pretty light. I was also thinking about cutting the exhaust off, like right there, or maybe doing a. Maybe doing like a tractor, tractor hood stack right here with a little flipper on it. I thought that'd be pretty sick. Um, something like that. Or duels, because we got two pipes. Duels coming out here with the, with the flippers. But anyway, back on task. What I was saying was, I don't know why these numbers are blinking. Oh, okay. Camera's being weird. But anyway, what I was saying is, if you have any ideas, let me know. Just make sure they're not anything super expensive ideas. Like, cheaper ideas of what I can do to this thing. Um... But yeah, so probably in one of the next, I'd say one of the next two to four videos, you guys will probably see this thing. It'll probably be like the beginning of a project. We'll probably make a project series on this thing actually. And hopefully get this thing going by spring, you know, hopefully sooner, but get this thing for sure ready to rip this spring in some mud. It'd be pretty fun. Um, so yeah. Also, if you guys have any good ideas about what I can do, what I should do for seats in here, let me know, because I kind of want to do a four point or five point, I can't remember what it's called, there's four or five point um, harnesses in here as well for the seats, just because the chance of flipping this is like pretty great because of the rear axle. So, yeah, if you guys have any like seat slash harness ideas for this, let me know for sure, because I'd really like to know, I'd really like to know what you guys suggest for that. But anyway, I know this guys, guys, this video has been just kind of a lot of talking. Um, sorry for that if you didn't, if you're not into that. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that this is sitting crooked. That is sitting really crooked. What the heck? That looks like it's sitting crooked, you guys. Like the body, that looks like it's sitting crooked. Let's show my dad that. That's weird. Oh, that's not good. Oh, never mind. Just because the tire's flat. Never mind, we're Gucci. But uh, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so this has just kind of been like a vlog, just kind of a lot of talk. I guess not even really a vlog, just been a lot of talking. But I just really wanted to show you guys this rig, because I know I kind of left a lot of you guys hanging in a really older video with it. So uh, here it is, I'm gonna be getting to work on it pretty soon. And then, um, what else do I have to say? This weekend, making a video with the boys, that one's gonna be a freaking, that one's gonna be a freaking banger. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an awesome video this weekend. So keep an eye out for that within the next week, week and a half. So that'll be posting. Uh, oh yeah, check out the new Sherp hat. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing a Sherp, shoot me an email below and we'll hook you up with getting a, a demo out here, uh, getting a ride in the Sherp. Uh, and if you got, yeah, if you're seriously interested, send me an email and I'll get you hooked up. But, uh, oh yeah, I actually got two merch prototype shirts. I was gonna, I was gonna show you guys, but I think I'll show you in the next video actually. But, um, I mean, merch is, merch is gonna be coming out soon. 
I want to say before Christmas, but probably not before Christmas. Probably after Christmas, merch will be coming out probably in January, beginning of January. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I still have to get a website made and everything, but merch will be coming soon for you guys. Um, and I'm open to suggestions and stuff too if you guys want to let me know what kind of clothing you want. Obviously, I'll have like a t shirt and like probably a sweatshirt. But if you guys don't want anything else, like if you want any kind of hats or like jackets or like special, like long sleeves or I don't know pocket shirts just kind of let me know what you guys like to wear so maybe I can make that happen but uh this is Ben Colin here with Up North Outdoors uh smack that like button subscribe if you haven't already because that'd, that'd be awesome uh thank you guys for 11k if that came quick um I really 20 I'm sure 20 just can be right around the corner guys you guys are so awesome um I'm still amazed that I hit 10,000 I'm so hyped about that but Next goal is 20,000. Uh, I think we can get to that pretty quick. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Oh, follow me on Instagram too. Uh, I make posts whenever new videos are coming out. So, definitely make sure you sauce me up a follow on there. Yeah, that should be everything. Like, subscribe.